Hi everyone, this is Karen. I still haven't posted it yet, but I will by the time I post this. I made a video yesterday for the first time about what we do to stay sober. And while that wasn't a comprehensive guide to what our whole system does, it's my perspective and damn that train. Anyways, I am making this video to talk about some of our long-term goals for our life. I have not yet really given anybody on this channel an idea into what we plan to do. And so I thought anyone who's interested can kind of know where we're going and what our intentions are. I just want to pause and say I'm so self-conscious about how my hair looks and how I look. I'm going to see if our partner will help us do our hair today and um, shave the sides so that we can have a mohawk because I am sick of the way this looks. I also don't like this dress either, but I just wanted to make this video so I threw it on. So, our goals. We have many goals for different areas of our lives. We are a very goal-oriented person. That is how we made it out of MKUltra. We do not like to just sit back and let things unfold as they are, which is kind of one of our character defects, but it's also one of our character assets. We have a very strong idea of what we want and need, and we work extremely hard for it. My biggest goal for myself is to have a farm. It feels like a pipe dream right now, but it's a long-term goal of ours. Ever since we worked at this organic farm project where we got to do various different types of gardening and farm work, we've realized that a sustainable lifestyle in which we are truly self-sufficient, growing our own food and providing food for a community is how we want to live. We are not interested in living too much of an urban lifestyle. We've never liked big cities. And so our goal is to move out into the country, buy a small plot of land, and start farming it. And for that, we intend to go to a horticulture school and at least take a couple years of horticulture classes in order to learn what we need to know to get started. We know enough about agriculture to know that we know practically nothing, so we don't anticipate that we will ever be that knowledgeable, but we want to acquire the basic skills in order to farm and garden, at least for ourselves. We don't, however, plan to make that our sole occupation. We want to go to school and we want to get a degree in social work and become a licensed clinical social worker. Many parts of us have considered psychology and following in our father's academic footsteps, at least, and going the master's degree or PhD route in psychology, but we've decided that we would do better in social work. There's certain types of jobs that we want to pursue in that area that we couldn't pursue so easily in psychology. It's just, it's, they're different fields. But we do want to offer mental health services, and that's why we want to go for the LCSW. We do want to essentially be a deprogrammer therapist, but we want to put specific emphasis on working with victims of human trafficking who would not find us through the ritual abuse and mind control communities. We're talking about people trafficked who were not born into the perpetrator network like we were, who were not born into white, wealthy, aristocratic families and programmed. We certainly want to help people from our demographic, but we want to specifically offer our services to people of color who have been trafficked from overseas and specifically have knowledge of mind control deprogramming that we can give to people in those demographics who would probably 
never find us otherwise. I don't know if that makes sense, but we understand that there's a lot of victims of mind control who probably identify as victims of trafficking and may or may not be aware of the extent that they've been programmed if they were used short term and not born into the perpetrator network like we were. So that's kind of our goal, and our goal is to become fluent in Spanish. We know a little bit, but not much. We mostly lost it since our childhood. And so we want to become fluent in Spanish, but also as many languages as possible so that we can work with as many groups of people as possible. Another goal of ours, which is also academic, is to get a degree in mathematics. Our dream as a child was to be a mathematician, one of our many dreams. And while we want to make the focus of our life human service, we want to get a degree in math for ourselves, for that little kid in us that so desperately wants to. And if we ended up doing something more with that, that would be great. But we've already chosen to put aside our goals in mathematics and science um, in favor of helping people in more humanities-oriented disciplines. Another big goal of ours is to focus on music and really cultivate ourselves there. We studied piano all throughout our childhood. Our mother was a classical pianist, and we also have sang a lot. Some of you may have seen our recent video of parts of us singing, hold on, sorry, singing Hurt by Nine Inch Nails. We plan to post more videos of ourselves singing from different parts, but right now we're going through some changes inside that are making that difficult. Our short-term goal with singing is to get back out onto the street and busk again. We did that for a bit in an area that was just super friendly and wonderful to buskers. We made a lot of money and people were really nice and it was just awesome. It was a rather touristy town. But we've since moved to a place that is not busker or homeless friendly. And um, even though we're not homeless now, um, we are in poverty and we could use the money. And more than that, we just want to get out there and sing. So as long as we don't feel like we're taking, you know, away much resources from people who need it more than us, we really want to get out there and sing again. But long term, we really want to start our own music, music project, start writing our own music, and learn other instruments. We really want to learn the violin and the guitar, but want to first get a keyboard and cultivate ourselves on the piano. I think someone's smoke detector went off. That wasn't ours. I think everything's fine. Um, and then we have, you know, more personal, less externally driven goals and things like, um, you know, we, we want a course to be integrated and deprogrammed. We say of course because we've already conveyed that on our channel. We know that some people with DID don't want to integrate and we understand and respect that. But for us, it's never really been a question. We want to be whole. We do, of course, rely on dissociation to cope with a lot of things. And so we understand that we need it right now. And we may need it for a long time. We've stopped trying to force ourselves into deep level integration we can't handle. But we do work steadily to integrate our personality, our heart and soul on a daily basis. And that's extremely important to us. We really don't know why it is that unlike many other people with DID, we are so driven towards integration, but we think it has a lot to do with having been in RAMC, having been forced to fragment and forced to fragment to the extreme. The exponential splitting was not sustainable and it was not something we chose to do. And we think that if we had created a much smaller number of dissociative parts, more on our own, then it would feel more like us. 
that DID would be something that we identified with more deeply. For us, it's like a mark of our abuse, and we've worked really hard to see it differently and to not be so ashamed of it, but a lot of parts do want to get rid of it because they feel like it's part of our victimization and they want to overcome. We know some of that is healthy and some of that isn't. So we've done a lot of work around it, but it still is a huge goal. We want to be whole. And of course, the deprogramming comes with that. We have to deprogram in order to integrate, and we have to integrate in order to deprogram. That's just how our process has looked for us. We also want to, our huge goal with the deprogramming process is to be deeply grounded in the awareness that we are no longer being accessed. To our knowledge right now, we are not being accessed, but we don't have deep confidence in that because we have not accessed enough parts of ourselves ourselves. We don't know exactly what those parts are that we have yet to meet. That's part of it. But we can feel that there's this thing missing, this set of parts missing from our conscious experience of life that we worry are being accessed in some way. We know that most of the accessing that we used to experience that was so extreme is not happening anymore. We can feel that, but we aren't sure that there isn't anything going on. And even if there isn't, because we're not grounded in it, it just doesn't feel real. So what we want is to not only prevent and stop and take care of any accessing that is happening right now for ourselves, but to be deeply grounded in that, to really feel like we have control over ourselves and our lives and that no one is controlling us. We want it to become real. And a lot of that also means going into our inner worlds and deprogramming parts that are using each other inside, which is a big part of our process and something we're deeply involved in right now. So what are other goals? Another big goal of ours is to have kids have a family. And that is something we are obviously extremely nervous about given our background. We never want to bring a child into this world, into the situation we were in. And even bringing a child into the world as it is right now, outside of all that is still scary. We know enough about how this world works to be afraid for any child and to be afraid of any harm we would cause by manifesting or helping to manifest, I mean to say, a new life. But we have so much love in our heart and so much love in our heart for children. And we deeply, deeply want to heal enough to be able to provide a happy, healthy life for a bright soul. Whichever souls are drawn to me and my partner and want to incarnate into human form with us in our family. That's kind of how we see birth and life and parenting. We have a very interesting take on it. It's not totally original by any means, but we really see, you know, we believe in reincarnation and we believe that souls are attracted to parents through the law of attraction and manifest into human form in whatever way they need to, to fulfill the next stage in their life cycle and to work through karmic debt. We do have a history of intense meditative experiences. We have actually traveled. We have done enough um, of that sort of thing to have a sense, an intuitive sense around it. And so for us, we believe that we are a beautiful person and we believe that our partner is a beautiful person. And if we are able to stay together in the next few years, we definitely want to bring a soul or two into this world. I will say that I've also considered adoption because of my background and that's something that I'm not opposed to by any means, but I feel strongly a drive to have a biological child or two. So that's something, that's a personal choice for me.